at uh, almost 11.17, almost Wednesday. Yes, and I think we're going to have a million-dollar forecast. I hope so. An $830 million yeah. dollar forecast. <laughs> That's even better. Have what we do you checked think? the station numbers yet? No. I no one's checked. checked. I was waiting for the commercial break, but, you know, thank you, Matt. We could be do out of here, permission? but we're still here. I see how this works. <laughs> you guys let me know. If you guys take off, I can, I'll toss to Jimmy. It's fine. Deal. All right, appreciate that. Uh, you know, no stinking thinking in terms of the forecast tomorrow either. We do have some rain on the way. We could use it, though. Variable clouds tomorrow morning to get you started. You'll notice it'll be a bit more humid out the door tomorrow morning. We're in the 70s. And then sun and clouds and some scattered storms in the afternoon and evening. I think they'll be more scattered than consistent. So I think a lot of us may end up with no rain tomorrow. Uh, but again, they'll be scattered around. Still cool out towards the east. We're in the 60s now. 70s down the I-77 corridor out towards the west. We're near 70. That's because we've increased that humidity. Our dew points are coming back up. These are now in the 60s to near 70 down towards the south. That increase is that humidity coming in from the south wind that we have. All of it kind of butts up against this front that caused all that flooding in St. Louis last night. They had 10 to 12 inches of rain. Can you imagine that? That causes all sorts of problems there. The rain has since eased, but we're seeing another little area come in along this stalled out frontal boundary. We don't have to worry about the frontal boundary locally. That's going to stay down towards the south. What I do have my eyes on, though, is our rain chance tomorrow. This is a cold front off towards the north. Combining that cold front as it moves in with this copious amount of moisture, what you see overlaid on here, it's called precipitable water. Basically, you can measure the water in the atmosphere. You can wring it out and put a number on it. And a lot of these numbers are one to two, even three inches down towards the south up above us in the atmosphere. Basically, what's that mean? Well, the atmosphere can really rain itself out. You can get some really heavier downpours in there, and this moisture is abundant, so we could see some pretty good downpours where it does rain tomorrow. Trying a new graphic for you. It's a lot of data, so it might be glitchy. We'll see here, but this is your skycast tomorrow morning, so this is what we're expecting tomorrow morning out the door. We'll see some sunshine. We'll see some clouds as well as we get throughout the midday. Some of these darker clouds are going to produce some showers as they move through, and then really towards afternoon and evening, I still think we see a lot of sun cloud mix, but we're going to start to deal with some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially late in the evening. Models have been picking up on around the 8, 9, 10 o'clock hour. One final round of some decent downpours coming through. National Design Mart hour by our forecast. The bird's eye view of this. You notice we're near 70 tomorrow morning. There's your scattered showers as we go throughout the midday and afternoon hours. Not a washout by any means, but we will have to tote the umbrella around. Notice how we kind of clear out towards evening. That helps us heat up. And then we have a couple more storms that develop. These could be a little bit on the stronger side. I don't see severe weather in the forecast tomorrow, but some of these storms as they get in late July, early August could be a little feisty. Some lightning, maybe some gusty winds out of it. Everything kind of subsides and then we bring in just a scattering of showers on Thursday. More dry hours than not on Thursday. We can't say goodbye to the rain till early Friday morning. It's like 3, 4, 5 a.m. Rest of Friday will be dry. Weekend still looks great at this point. If you've missed the heat, well, don't have to wait too long. This heat has been prevalent out towards the west. This dome of warmth is going to shift east next week. So we're talking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. They look pretty hot. And that may kind of be a harbinger of things to come for August. Much of August looking pretty hot at this point. It's really been a kind of ho-hum summer in terms of temperatures. Union Home Mortgage 10-day forecast. There's your dry out for the weekend. And next week we talk 90s.